If you like to play VR shooters or are wanting to get into VR shooters, using a gun stock is the number one way to improve your accuracy as well as increase the overall level of immersion. This is the Cobra CQB, the latest gun stock from Falandorn, and it's a fantastic little stock. Those of you that have been following my channel for a while now know that several months ago I bought a gun stock called the Cobra Elite from Falandorn, and I love it. When I made that video, Falandorn had no idea I was making a video about his stock and I'm pretty sure didn't even know my YouTube channel existed. Apparently after posting my video, his sales of the Elite increased a fair amount and he eventually found out about my video and reached out to thank me for the favorable review. Uh, since that time, he and I have been in contact with each other and he asked me if I'd like to check out his newest stock, the CQB, and sent one over for me to try out. I just finished the better part of a week playing around with this thing and it's pretty darn impressive. It does have its quirks, but at the same time, it's probably the most versatile VR gun stock on the market today. I know it isn't exactly the sexiest looking stock out there, but when it comes to functionality, Falandorn has clearly put a lot of thought into its design. My favorite thing about the CQB is how it doesn't rely on any magnetic attachment points. Most all other gun stocks out there, the Cobra Elite included, have at least one controller that attaches to the stock magnetically. While I feel these magnetic attachments are a great solution, they aren't without their problems. Detaching a controller is easy enough, but I often find myself struggling a little bit to get it clipped back in. The CQB doesn't use magnets at all, but instead simply uses grip handles, which are perfectly shaped for the Oculus Touch controllers. You just grab the handles, which then press the grab buttons on the controllers for you, and you're ready to rock. It's a very natural feeling mechanic that's quick and easy to execute. This does work better in Onward though than in other games. Since you carry your primary weapon on the front of your body in Onward, I'll grab the handle on the stock with my pinky, ring, and middle fingers to bring it into position so when I fully grip the handle, I'm also grabbing my gun in game. In Pavlov though, you carry your primary firearm over your shoulder, so this magnet-free mechanic doesn't work quite as smoothly. I ended up reaching over my shoulder with my right hand to bring my gun forward and would then grip the front stock of the gun in game with my left hand and then bring the CQB up and grab the handle with my right hand and finally grab the front grip on the CQB with my left hand. It is much clunkier than an Onward, but once you've got your gun in hand, things work great from there. I, I don't know, maybe you guys have an idea of how to do this more efficiently, but this is the best I was able to come up with. Being able to quickly and naturally release your hand from the stock makes reloading a breeze. And it's an especially great mechanic when you're using bolt-action sniper rifles. Clipping in and out of a magnet is really slow in comparison. With the CQB, you can fire, cycle the bolt on your rifle, and then fire again, almost as quickly as you can without a stock. It's super slick. Thanks to the bottom rail design of the CQB, there is nothing but open air above the handle, so you can rack the bolt of a sniper rifle without any part of the stock getting in the way. When it comes to reloading magazines into assault rifles and submachine guns though, this bottom rail design does become a little bit of a nuisance. I often find myself clunking my controller into the stock as I remove and replace magazines. It's not a deal-breaking issue for me or anything, but it is a minor annoyance I feel I should mention. The grip handles on the CQB are contoured perfectly for the Oculus Touch controllers. However, if you like to use grip covers like the ones I use from Kiwi Design, they don't fit quite right. I mean, they work, but using the Velcro straps Falandorn includes with his gun stocks to DIY yourself some knuckle grips definitely works the best. 
He does make some slightly larger grip handles for the CQB though, to better accommodate the Kiwi grip covers. So if you use grip covers like these, you'll want to make sure that you request the larger grip handles from Fallon Dorn. The CQB is fully adjustable and easily able to simulate every gun in both Pavlov and Onward I tried it with, with the exception of the P90. For those that are fans of the P90, you know that it places your front and rear hands super close together. So to use the P90 in Pavlov, I had to rest my hand on the adjustable slide of the CQB like this, rather than being able to grab the front grip of the stock. In Onward, placing my hand that way was much less effective, however. It left my front hand sitting too high, which made the gun tilt up and impossible to aim. For everything else though, it worked fantastically. The shoulder stock is adjustable to four different lengths. The smallest setting I'm pretty sure is just for making the stock as small as possible for shipping and when it's not in use. But between the other three settings, you can dial in the perfect length shoulder stock for whatever type of gun that you prefer to use. Submachine guns, sniper rifles, shotguns, light machine guns, assault rifles, you name it, the CQB can do it. One suggestion I have for Fallon Dorn would be to have the push button for adjusting this on the top of the rail rather than the bottom. I had a little trouble adjusting it with my Quest 2 on my face because of the way the sling limits how much you can rotate the stock. If it were on top though, then I would be able to peer through the nose gap of my headset and make sure I have it properly aligned. The cheek rest is also adjustable to three different heights. So again, no matter what gun you like to run with, you'll be able to dial it in where what you see in VR and what you feel for real will match up. When it comes to doing pump action shotguns in VR, as far as I know, Fallon Dorn is the only one out there supporting this. One of the things he's been working on and makes its debut on the CQB is this spring-powered pump action mechanism. Running the pump action shotgun in Pavlov using this is a total treat and a ton of fun. Being able to physically pump the shotgun to cycle the shells is incredibly satisfying. Personally, I feel the spring is a little too soft though. I would like to feel a little more resistance when I grab the front stock. I just feel like it moves around a lot and I'd like the action to be more deliberate. I rigged up a little piece of bungee cord on it like this and I like the way it feels a lot better. I can grab the front stock and the bungee provides just enough resistance where it's not constantly sliding back and forth. One of the things I think is genius about this pump shotgun action Fallon Dorn has designed is this thumb screw which allows you to lock the front stock at a variety of different lengths. So not only does it give you a physical pump shotgun action, it also makes the front of the stock adjustable so you can get your front hand placement correct for whatever gun you prefer to use in whatever game you're playing. Just for fun, I tried using the CQB in Resident Evil 4, but found that the way they track the controllers in Resident Evil is a bit different than how they track them in Onward and Pavlov. When I'd grab the front grip on the CQB, my front hand in game would not grab the front stock. After some messing around, I found that if I pressed forward on the rear grip handle like this, that would then tip that controller down just enough where it would point the barrel of the gun down in game, and then my front hand could grasp the front stock. So the CQB does kind of work in Resident Evil 4, but not as good as I was hoping it would. Included with the CQB is this shoulder sling. It has a two-point connection design, which at first I thought was a little weird, but after using it, I found this helps the stock to hang in the same position all the time. It doesn't allow the stock to rotate around, so the handles are always in the same place when you reach for them, which is exactly what you want when you're playing a game and blindly reaching for them. He's also designed the CQB with a Picatinny rail where you can mount an actual bipod. 
Falandorn doesn't supply a bipod with the CQB, but does have a link to where you can buy one just like this one in a video on his channel. Uh, I'll link that video in the cards and in the video description if you're interested. Of course, using a bipod in VR is super niche. Most people aren't going to take the time to set up and snipe with it, especially in an intense multiplayer match. But for other types of games and scenarios where you do have some time to set one up, a bipod does give you an incredible amount of stability, allowing you to make super long range sniper shots. Another niche feature included with the CQB is this controller sock. This holds the left hand controller on the front grip, allowing you to use your left hand to further steady the stock and make super accurate snipe shots. Falandorn 3D prints the parts and assembles all his gun stocks himself by hand. So what he's currently doing is building 20 or so stocks and then listing them on eBay. As they begin to sell out, he then starts working on a new batch. If you can't find them on eBay, the best way to get info on when more will be coming available is to check his YouTube channel's community page and follow him at Cobra underscore VR on Twitter. I've placed links to both of those in the video description as well. He's currently working on his own website too, so hopefully sometime in the near future, it will be your one-stop shop for info and to purchase a Cobra. The CQB currently sells for 65 Great British Pounds, which is around 85 US dollars as of the making of this video. You'll have to check the exchange rate on any given day to know exactly what it is, as it's constantly fluctuating.